Hi, Lily here. Uh, today I will show you how to make this little linen shirt. This is of course for a child, size 3 years old. Uh, but it's the same for adults. Um, the pattern sheet for the children are on a pattern sheet kit for boys. Link that um, and you can download the pattern sheet uh, link is in the description I have taken some element from this shirt that I'm sure you all know <coughs> this is the Vibor shirt it's a shirt found in a Viking house uh, and it's from 1080 and it's super interesting to make I have made a, another video of making that link. Um, it has, uh, the original is by the way not blue of course, I just dyed in the video, but the original has eight different seams on it, so it's, uh, it's a master class in sewing viking uh, techniques, so you should, if you haven't done it, do it. But for this little shirt, I have, I've taken some element from it. I have not taken the neckline, but I've taken those those um, slits, what do you call it, in the side. This opening that are overlapping here in the side. And also uh, uh, the sleeves are the same. So that's what we shall do in this uh, video. You see, here is this little opening. But I've chosen a keyhole neckline instead. If you want to, you can combine those two, of course. Um, the pattern sheets are without seam allowance, so the first thing you do, find the right size uh, and cut it out with one centimeter seam allowance or lower. And then you start sewing it. Now I have cut out pieces from the pattern sheet. This is the body. And of course sleeve and sleeve under there. It's quite nice it's this little little wicking viking size. This is for my grandchild, my son son. Anton. He's three years old. Cute little boy. First thing to do. <coughs> I've used elements from uh, Viborg shirt. Um, first thing I will do is simply to sew all edges inside in. Bend them in and over stitch. Over cast stitches all the way around, all the way around. Not the neckline, of course, but on all the edges. Because I want to use the same technique as in Vibo shirt, where I sew it together from outside. I like that. It's so much not machine thinking. That's why I like it, I think. So that's the first thing to do. Sew it in with all the stitches. So now I 
so all the way around with overcast stitch so I simply bend the end twice and overcast and again not so this thread will be visible on the right side just a small dot small marks will show you it just gives structure you see just give a little structure all the way around see you later so as with the body I also finish the sleeve completely before I in the end sew those two things together so here I have a uh, sleeve and the corset and I will uh, again uh, now for the sleeve I will use partly the overcast in the top and bottom for the techniques to sew in the god corset and this sleeve I will um, so in the flat felt seam. So I want the I want the corset to look like it's inside, not a patch outside. So the longest piece when I sew it together should be the gorday. So first I sew the top of the sleeve to the corset and I have the patch the corset as the longest piece it's half centimeter out and then I'm sewing in here after that I will bend over to make a flat felt seam I never use knots in my clothing so I sew three times on top of each other first So, and then I first make running stitch down to there. It. And then I take the longest seam allowance over and under the other. Put it down. And then I make overcast stitch. You hardly go through this fabric, only a thread or two. So you get, uh, so you, this thread will not really be visible on the right side, but only as a structure, as a little dot hole in the fabric. But it gives just some a little structure. In Danish, we call it prekse. Seam. I, I really don't have a good uh, English word for it, but I will show you in a minute. So, that was one side of the Godet. And I end also with three stitches on top of each other. And now the other side. So again this shall be the longest. And here I pin it because I am now sewing all the way down.
So, forward stitch, bend over, overcast stitch after. you have a good strong thread then it saves a lot of time to make like I did now three or maybe four stitches before you pull. It's this pulling that takes the longest time with sewing. Did you know that? So and if it's very smooth thread you can even do more. You can do five or maybe even six stitch. Then I pull. All the way up and overcast. Bend over and overcast down. So now I have sewn first forward stitches up and then overcast all the way down to the wrist. And now I finish this at the same time. So I bend this in twice as usual. And then I continue with overcast stitches around. the wrist and also on the top of the do it all around here and but also here so the sleeve is completely finished before I sew it to the body this is the way it's done on the um, b shirt one piece completely finished and then I will show them from the right side on the body. With that later, I'll first finish this. When you shall uh, make the neckline, I do the same technique as all the way around here, but I do this on the right side to use this as a decoration also. So I just fold a little out, twice, and tiny overcast. All the way around. And when I go down to the, the bottom of the split here, I do this one narrower and narrower and narrower. So in the end, I just roll it. So it goes into zero in the end, like this. See? Down, so narrow, 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 and zero, and then I go up again all the way around. And by the way, neckline size. The typical mistake when you make children's clothing is that you make this one too big because you want to have the head through it. Then you can see the pink t-shirt they have under. You will see that on many pictures from the uh, Viking markets. <laughs> but keep the hole only maybe two centimeter bigger than the neck measurement. And then you need the head's measurement to find out how big the complete hole should be. So that you measure from the bottom of the hole of the split and around the neck. Down. So this is 20 inch or 51 centimeter. That hole has to be two centimeter longer than the head is on the circumstances of the head. 
because I I sew up a little bridge here. I'll show you in a minute. So instead of making this hole bigger, you make this split deeper or shorter. That's how to take care of not make it, doing this too wide. But first this one. Finished. Yeah, now I make it narrower and narrower. See now I, I cannot roll it anymore, so now I'm just sewing around it. I will make buttonhole stitch over this afterwards. So, now I'm in the bottom of the split. So now I do the other side of course. helps to make your fingers a little wet. And now, when I am half inch or one centimeter up on the other side, this is the point that will be ripped off easily. So I always make a secure here. So I go over here directly over on the other side. Make maybe four, six of those. You see? And then I make buttonholes over that. So I make a little bridge over there so it cannot be tarred. Broken. And then I continue those buttonhole stitch around there. So now now it's secured. Now of course I continue all the way around. And after that this uh, body part is completely finished and then we should put in the sleeves. <laughs> 